So likewise, they tried to kill Jesus when he was an infant. Moses established the Feast of Passover, and Jesus established a new Passover. Right? So this was prefigured. And Mary herself was also prefigured throughout the stages of salvation history. She was prefigured in people like Eve, who was the mother of those who had fallen into sin. She's considered the mother of humanity. Mary is considered the mother of all who are reborn in baptism. And so there's lots of different prefigurations. And so uh, I had this idea, and when we came back from the Holy Land pilgrimage, we had this chapel to Mary at the Church of Noblesville. And we actually remodeled the chapel and we put a bunch of images of prefigurations of Mary to try to show everyone who goes in that chapel that not only was Jesus prefigured throughout salvation history, but also was Mary. That so significant is Mary in God's plan of salvation that he sent certain people to prefigure what she would accomplish. So like Rachel in the Old Testament is considered to be the mother of the tribes of Israel. And she weeps for them when they fall into sin, when they're taken into exile. So Mary is also our sorrowful mother who weeps for us when we fall into sin. Or there was a woman, Hannah, from the Old Testament. Hannah who gave birth to Samuel miraculously. She was barren. She could not have any children. And she asked God for a child. And when God gave her that child, the words that came out of her mouth were, My soul magnifies the Lord. It's the exact same words that Mary said when the angel Gabriel appeared to her, announcing the birth of her child. There's a woman named Esther right, in the Old Testament who was a famous queen who interceded on behalf of the people of Israel because one of the wicked members of the king's court wanted to kill all of the Jews living in that kingdom. And so Esther, as the queen, interceded on behalf of God's people, just as Mary intercedes for us. There's all these ways that Mary is prefigured. And one of the most striking ones, and something that is called most attention right, on this feast of the Assumption of Mary, is the fact that Mary was prefigured not only by people, but also by certain objects. That the Ark of the Covenant in the Old Testament was a foreshadowing of Mary. That just as the Ark of the Covenant, it held the manna, it also held the rod of Aaron, and it held the Ten Commandments. So Mary, in her own womb, held Christ, who is the new law, the new high priest, and the new bread that has come down from heaven. What's really interesting about this is this is what the early church fathers talked about when they talked about Mary being assumed into heaven. They said, if Christ has ascended into heaven and is now in his temple, surely his ark, the ark of the covenant, must also be there. That's what all the church fathers taught. So when the church basically proclaimed this doctrine as a part of church dogma, it was echoing that tradition. And what's really interesting is that as most things in our faith, contrary to what many people think, many people think that Catholics don't know the Bible or understand the Bible. It might be true that individual Catholics don't, but the church herself is very aware. And it's really interesting if you actually study the scriptures, this comes out more and more. Like, for example, in Exodus 25, one of the things that I think is really striking. What was the Ark of the Covenant made out of? What kind of material? It was made out of acacia wood. Acacia wood is significant because acacia wood, it never decomposes. It basically is incorruptible. Just like Mary, we call her the Immaculate Conception. Uncorrupted by sin. Exodus 25 says that when they made the Ark of the Covenant of acacia wood, they then overlaid it with gold, and then they would put a veil over it when they would carry it uh, away from the temple. Anybody have any guesses what color the veil was of the Ark? It was blue. How often do we see Mary in our statues and our artwork of Mary? What color is she normally wearing? She's wearing blue. The deeper you dive into this mystery, the more apparent it becomes. 
that Mary truly was prefigured by the Ark of the Covenant, that all those instructions that God gave in the Bible for how the Israelites were to construct and carry out the Ark, it was all preparing the people for what Mary would one day accomplish. The new Ark of the Covenant, who now is in heaven in God's temple, where she belongs, who has been assumed into heaven. 